guys welcome back to the second video in our tutorial series on service fabric in this tutorial we'll be looking at installing service fabric on windows unlike most distributed systems the installation of service fabric on windows is quite straightforward and there's very little configuration that we need to do this tutorial will go through installing on windows 10 but other modern windows platforms should be very similar so the first thing we need to download is the dotnet core tree sdk so if we just search for dotnet core in Google, we should get a link to the download. So here we are. We want the .NET Core SDK, not the .NET Core runtime, because we will be building apps. So we'll click there. And then we can save that file. So we'll just click Install, give it permission. And then the installation process for the .NET Core SDK should begin. So .NET Core is what service topic will be running on here and we'll be programming in C Sharp, which runs on .NET. So once that's installed, what we need now is Visual Studio 2019. And this will be our IDE for when we're working with Service Fabric on Windows. So we just go back to Google and we can search Visual Studio 2019. There we are. And we want the Community Edition, which is free. So again, the download should start automatically. And here we go. Save the file again, and we'll just run it. And then follow the steps. We probably just want to follow the normal installation. Installing Visual Studio might take a little bit of time, so we can come back when it's done. So once that's finished, we get brought to this screen, which tells us which components we want to install. So for working with Service Fabric in this tutorial, we'd recommend the ASP.NET Web Development, Azure Development, Node.js Development. And I think we will also need .NET Core Cross-Platform Development. So to begin, we can just click Install. And as you can see, it's quite a big download size here. We have 9.73 gigabytes. So make sure your laptop or computer has plenty of room before downloading. So we'll come back to the video when Visual Studio is finished downloading and installing. Okay, so once Visual Studio 2019 is installed, the final thing we need to do is install the Service Fabric SDK. And just so you're aware, you don't necessarily need to run Visual Studio 2019 to use Service Fabric. It would also work in Visual Studio 2017. And you also don't need the latest version of .NET Core. It would also run on some versions of .NET Framework and older versions of .NET Core. So if you have them already installed, most of those versions probably will be okay, but do check the docs. So to install the Service Fabric SDK, just Google Service Fabric SDK. And I will leave links to all these downloads in the description of the video. So if you can't find them on Google, the links should be there. So again, we follow the same procedure as before. We are, have one of the prerequisite operating systems we can see here. I'm running Windows 10, but as I said, it would also run on Windows 7 and Windows 8. So we want to use Visual Studio 17 or 19. You can also use Visual Studio 2015 here, but you have to install a different version of the SDK. So we're going to install this version here. And again, just save the file. So once it's finished downloading, click on it and open it. That should start the web platform installer, which will allow us to install Service Fabric SDK. We can see here we're installing Microsoft Azure Service Fabric SDK version 4.0.457, which was released on the 18th of November 2019. So quite recently as of the recording of this video. So click install and accept the license agreement and then just wait for the installation to finish. So once it's finished installing, we'll come back and see if we can successfully run Service Fabric. So once that's finished installing, we can just click finish. And then we can exit the web platform installer. To run Service Fabric, we simply just need to search for it in our taskbar. So we can see here we have the Service Fabric local cluster manager. We can just click that to run and it should start up. So we can see here, welcome to Service Fabric local cluster manager. You can use it to manage your local dev cluster. And we also have the Service Fabric local cluster manager and Service Fabric logo here. If you right click on that, we can set up our local cluster to be a one node or a five node cluster. For most of these tutorials, we'll be using one node cluster, which we'll explain in future videos. So to start the cluster, we can just click one node. And now we can see the service fabric local cluster manager is setting up a local cluster, which will take a few minutes. So we can come back in a few minutes when it's set up. 
So we can see now it has flashed that the local cluster setup is completed. This means we've successfully installed Service Fabric on our Windows 10 machine and we're running a local cluster. So in order to see the local cluster, we can access the Service Fabric local cluster manager. So in order to access the local cluster manager, we can type localhost. And then we go 19080 and press enter and this will take us to the Service Fabric Explorer where we can see and manage our cluster. So we can see that the cluster is currently running. As we have access to this, we have no applications on the cluster. We started a one node cluster, so we have a single node and we have the internal service fabric systems running here. So thanks for watching the video on how to install service fabric on Windows. In the next video, we'll look at setting up our first application and microservices running on service fabric. If you enjoyed the video, please like it and subscribe to the channel. Thanks guys.